Hello and welcome to another episode multiplayer hunting with me, Pratze, and with Fabe. Hi guys. Hi guys. Uh, this time is going to be a little bit odd for us because, uh, as you know, we both are Germans, but we are going to talk English to each other just for yeah. you. <laughs> Feels a kind kind of weird, but it's okay. It's yeah. Hot. So um, we're just gonna give that a try, and there is lots of news that we can tell you guys. Uh, first of all, uh, there has been a, a huge update, um, which included the fox, the red fox that everybody has been waiting for. And um, yeah, uh, we are going to take a look at the fox also a little bit later in this episode, but. Um, yeah, first we want to uh, check out the feeder because we are here on uh, Fape's um, reserve and he has a feeder that has 100% attractiveness and of course we do not want to uh, <laughs> let this uh, opportunity s uh, slip by. Yeah, uh, if I could say something. Yeah. Um, I was today on the feeder to fill it up and I had 18 hogs around it so I think we'll be lucky there. Yeah, he didn't shoot something though because of course uh, if he shot something when he was filling up the feeder then the attractiveness would be going to zero again so he didn't do that wisely enough. <laughs> he uh, he didn't shoot it, he, uh, he kind of <laughs> His his trigger finger. I don't know how did you do that. I mean, looking at I seventeen uh, pigs, how did you not shoot? I mean, I did take a weapon with me. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> so yeah, that means we have a feeder in your reserve uh, at one hundred percent. And um, yeah, let's uh, do this a little bit quickly. We have also a new weapon that you have in your hands there. It's a bolt action rifle caliber two two three, or maybe you call it two hundred twenty three. I don't know, but um, this weapon is mainly designed for smaller game, so um, it is quite much. Um, yeah, it makes a lot of sense to release it together with the fox, and um, this weapon is actually ethical for. Uh, the red fox, of course, coyotes, um, roe deer, and also turkey. So there's a little bit of bird hunting also included uh, yeah. with this new caliber. And um, uh, Fape here has the wooden design, or what is it called? Yeah, I think it's a wooden design. Yeah, he has the wooden stock. Um, I myself, so you will have to switch to the channel of uh, Fape. Which is called. What is it called again? Fapis, the Hunter LPs. Yeah, Fapis, the Hunter LPs. I might blend in um, this information now in my video and, of course, also in the description. You will get the needed uh, information about it. So uh, he's gonna look at, at the marble one from his perspective. Um, so you can check out that one too. So we have two designs for this weapon, which is really great, I think. Mm -hmm. I'm really happy that they release um, this weapon because, you know, I think um, it was way too easy to kill a Rodia with a rifle, and no, and also of course coyotes and now the fox, and mm. now we have a weapon that. Yeah, it's more chal challenging. Yeah, and I think that the rest of that what we have to kind of um, talk about um, to start with, we can do it actually on our way. So, um, but uh, well, let's first maybe um, reload the weapon and um, also show the second weapon that we take with us. So I will take the um, Parker Python. With me, I take the thirty oh six with me for the hawks. Okay, well, now thinking of it, I maybe should also do that because um, when we go hawk hunting, uh, my Parker Python will not do me a, a, a really good favor. 
Yeah. So you could um, just, in the meantime, give some um, information about that new scope that we got for that uh, for actually all the all the rifles, or is it only the bolt action rifles, or is it also um, working I'm gonna for try the this out. Okay. Okay. I'm just I just show the scope now. That's how it looks. I think it looks really nice. It doesn't have any zoom, but that's not a problem. And okay, let's try this out. If I could also use it on the other unshoots weapons. Should be should be possible though. Uh-huh. Yeah, I can use it on yeah, it's, it's every called a shit's weapon. It's called 12 by 50 millimeter rifle scope, so... And it has a mill dot reticle. Mm -hmm. And um, we were actually, before we started this, um, we have to say this is the day of release of all this fancy stuff. So, um, when we actually... Um, started you know we we first went to the hunter wiki and the forums and tried to find out how that how that works like how it's zeroed in but now thinking of it since the scope is actually um you know suitable for different weapons we actually would have to look at the at the weapon itself to see where where the weapon itself is zeroed in think the information might be there. Mm -hmm. Also something interesting, um, the 223 caliber um, has two designs as we just showed and um, the first question that we kind of had was um, will it be leveling um, as one weapon or will, if you have both of them, you know, the marble one and the wood wooden one uh, would it uh, level as two separate weapons, like <laughs> kind of leveling separately, you know what I mean? But mm -hmm. um, actually um, when you buy the weapon or when you look in the store there is a information that it will always um, level equally so it doesn't matter which one you shoot, uh, if you shoot then the other one it has the same um, level that you got by shooting the other one. So that makes you that makes sense, of course. Whoa. Did you hear this call of the Yes, red now set? I just heard it. Okay, should we take him down? Yeah, we could actually. Okay. Why not? It might be just a monster. Yeah, maybe. You never know. So you marked already the... Yeah, I see your waypoint on the hunter mate, so that's the way to the feeder. Yeah, I can also show the map. Yeah, let's just quickly look at F Fape's map. Okay, here you can see the feeder with 100% attractiveness, and here I have another one. I think it's on 70% or mm. something like that. So we could also check this out, maybe. It's also quite nice, actually. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, good. I think we'll be back when something happens again. Yeah, when the action kicks in. <laughs> okay. okay. See you in a bit. And we're back. There he is. Oh, yeah. I think we should call him here. Yeah, ju just let's call here one more time, yes. And then we actually move a little bit to the side. Because this is also quite a good technique to do. Um, mm. To get the animal into, you know, presenting you a broadside. I mean, we do lose sight of it now, but we know that that he's gonna check out that spot where we called last. Yeah. So I think we will be perfectly set up for a, for a shot here. And um 
Yeah, with animals like the red stack, where you don't have a scent spray, that is actually perfect for s you know for a setup like this. You have to do it in the last moment, kind of call and move back. Mm -hmm. So yeah, let's see how it works out. Um, actually, we would be in perfect bow range, but we do not have a bow with us now. So I, I just think. Oh, there is coming. I can hear him now. Yeah, just take. Think him. you can. T okay, then yeah. I'll take. I'm gonna him. film this kind of. Oh, there he is. So okay. now you see how this is gonna work out. Just say when you're ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Nice, you dropped him on the spot. Wasn't really difficult. Yeah, that's just, you know, the plan perfectly worked. Yeah. And um, now I also can mention something new that we got is because um, now you could see um, that um, these, um, what is that called in English, orbs? I like think so. Yeah. The color of it is is, is um customized Zebel now. I can yeah. show it quickly in the yeah. in the options. Kay. Um so you go just to gameplay and the track color. And there you can choose your color. Yeah, if you click that color you can really mess around with it and find your favorite color for it. Yeah. So that is really cool. And um I'm gonna take the trophy shot for you. If you want. Huh? <laughs> and you got like massive, massive damage right into the engine room. <laughs> right lung, hard left lung. Score 148.857. Oh, that's not bad. That's a good start to this video. Mm -hmm. And um, just taking a picture. All right, nice. That was a good one. Yeah. So um, I think we should continue to the feeder now, mm -hmm. and uh, we will be back. Yeah, whenever some action kicks in or when we arrive at the feeder. Okay, guys. Fabe just spotted something. There's he a fox on the field. Yeah, he just said really fox, cool. and we. Uh, <laughs> immediately Start stopped. It. Um, if you want to, I can actually use that caller. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh uh, yeah. Um, want to try it out. Oh yeah. And so I think the fox looks really, really cool. That's the first fox I've ever seen in the Hunter. Oh, that's nice. That's a cool thing. So um yeah we would uh, we actually plan to go foxing after we uh check out that feeder but it looks like we may get into some action before that and maybe let's l let's just move a little bit you know out of the thick wood yeah and so far when i was looking to my uh, through my binox he wasn't responding yet but you know no, not really could try to call him again. He's still standing there in the middle of the field. Yeah. Not yeah, his moving animations are cool. Yeah, I mean, you are actually um, whoa, the right guy to ask about that because you have seen real foxes in the field, didn't you? Yeah. Um, just to explain that, um, Fabes of Fabi's. Um, uh, father is a is a hunter in real life, and um, yeah, you actually go hunting with your dad in uh, in in yeah a, a very regular um, basis, right? Yeah, that's right. So um, Fape can um, can tell can tell us a lot about um, 
Whoa, they just spawned in that red deer. I mean, <laughs> there's a red deer. Yeah. Oh, next to him. Okay. Like left from the fox. Okay, I think we should walk a bit in this direction because he didn't show any uh, un any um, movement. Yeah. To us. I mean, I, I will just look down the scope just to show you guys um, what kind of uh, scope that is. So, I think those mill dots are quite useful, um, but um, as we could not find any information about how that weapon is zeroed in, um, I'm not feeling comfortable <laughs> taking a long range shot right now. Yeah, me too, because I don't know. Oh no, he's oh great. No, is he is he responding now? Yeah, oh, we he should does. go a bit back here. Okay. So I can maybe take him on the street or. Yeah, what? it's definitely your fox because I was actually already uh, playing before we uh, started um, this episode, and I took already two foxes. Yeah, there he is. Cool. One hundred meters. Okay. Just stay there. I, I have a perfect view if you stay there. That would be great. And enjoy. Take him <laughs> whenever you feel comfortable. I will. Oh, that's so nice. So what do you think of the movement? I think it looks very, uh, really cool and realistic. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. So you're ready? Yeah. I think I want him on the street. Okay. So Can you see him? Oh, there he yeah. is. Yeah. All right. Nice. Yeah. That was a perfect shot. He uh, went down straight away. And awesome. the, s the sound of that of that rifle is actually quite loud. I mean, I also wanted to say that the sound of the weapon is really cool, man. I think. Uh, have you ever heard that 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 caliber shot in real life? Yeah, I heard it, but you know, not the, the caliber makes the sound. The weapon makes the sound. Yeah, that's true. That's but actually true. I think it sounds realistic. Oh yeah. Really cool to see a fox. Oh, nice. Awesome start. I'm gonna take this trophy shot for you and um, after I will just send you the picture and you can or you can check it out and yeah. edit, edit it in for your this would be awesome like in, in your video so people can see you with your first fox mm -hmm. uh, it's a female I, I think yeah it's a female and it has a score of 12.176 okay and you got the right lung so it was a really nice shot Good. All right, and the color is actually really nice. I think the one that I shot looked a little bit more dull. And um, what do you actually think of the size of that one? Of the um, fox? Is it is it too big, or? I think he's a little bit too big. But that's like that's well, like he's too big. But but in this game, all animals are way too big. I think. Okay. So I think so just just look a little bit more upwards. If you see the roe deer and the red fox, I think the size between them is good. Yeah, that's okay. So um, it's a great picture. <laughs> like with your with that new rifle, really nice. Awesome. Okay then. This was very enjoyable, I have to say. Yeah. A really nice hunting experience. So, really congratulations, your first Thanks. fox. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
And um, yeah, let's just move on to the yeah. feeder. See you in a bit. You got it. Yeah. So we just moved a little bit and we got another call of a fox. Yeah. It's just and awesome here. <laughs> um, so what's the plan here, Fabe? Um, Maybe I don't know. He's near the feeder, so we. Is it is it safe or is it not safe? No, it's not safe. I think okay. we could. I would say if it's not safe, um, in order for, I you know I don't want to risk spooking like the, the pigs, but I think it it should be safe actually. Should be. Yeah, looking at it, it's safe. Yeah, it's safe. From my experience, it's safe to shoot it here like on the street or something. Yeah, and with 100% with attractiveness, I think the hawks will come back after yeah. a shot. I'm very sure that they won't even spook, because normally we should be able to drop the fox in his tracks. Yeah. I mean, unless I, like, flick a ear of it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think it should be safe. So, I can just call him. If not, it's but I think I'm it's gonna say it's it's yeah. your reserve. It's your decision. No, I I want to take this fox down. Okay. So um, you you're gonna shoot again or? No, no. This time you shoot. All right. So let's hope it's a male now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was it was kind of the direction from that street, right? Yeah, I think it was on this little hill. Oh, I think I see him. Can see him? Ah, uh, I'm not sure. Could you? Yeah, I can. Like next <laughs> to that big rock, and now he disappeared. He's he's now coming. Next to that rock, left side of the rock. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Oh yeah, cool. How is that actually in real life? Um, when um fox hunting do you also l like call them in um you can call them in and uh, you can hunt them it's it's up to you i would say mm -hmm. but but um i'm just interested because of the you know um how do you shoot it i mean do you get like a bro do you really look for a broadside shot or do you no, take a um, fox with also from the with front the fox i don't what do you think? You should try. Of course, you always should try to shoot at the lungs. Mm -hmm. But with the fox, I think it's not a big problem if you hit some something else because you don't eat the meat. And oh yeah, so okay, I see. So it's it's like it's it's um it's more about getting a a nice kill shot. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No, I think he's he's in female. range. It's a female again. Okay. okay. I'm ready. Uh, um, yeah. Okay. Great. Okay. He went he down. He also dropped on the spot. Sh she went down, yeah. Or she. Woo! Yeah. Nice. That was awesome. What a start. <laughs> yeah. I mean, to be honest, I did not expect so many foxes up here because. Um, yeah, me too. When you check out the information that you get when um, choosing your starting point, and um, what's it called Müllersteinhütte or Müllerwaldhütte? Müllerwaldhütte, I think. Yeah. So um, the information there is um, you get wild boar, you get roe deer, but there's there's not the particular yeah <laughs> information about foxes. A red deer <laughs> and a fox. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, two foxes, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, two foxes. It was a body shot. Score is fourteen point four six five. Nice. So uh, we already got a fox each. Really nice. Okay, just look a little bit to your right side. Yeah, I think that's cool. Wait, I want to see your weapon. So that's good. All right. Great. So, I think we could um, film the next two minutes because we're next to the feeder. I hope we didn't spook the hawks, but if we spook them, I think it's not a big deal.